Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is December 27th, 2022. And I want to share a few pieces of information with you guys. I don't want to be long here tonight, but I do want to go over a couple things and share some new information that uh, I have for you. And um, but I want to go over again the um, the uh, blood the blood moon tetrad from 2014 to 2015, and how all of this is leading us to Hanukkah by the division of 2,598 days to another blood moon tetrad in 2021 and 2022. Each blood moon uh, is conjoined to another blood moon by 2,598 days. Even the solar eclipses are connected by 2,598 days. Okay, Hebrew Strong's 2,598 is Hanukkah or the Feast of Dedication. Then we have from November 8th, we have a 40-day warning to Kislev 24, Hanukkah Eve, okay? And so we have a 40-day warning within this leading us right to Hanukkah. And then we have this whole time frame of Hanukkah that really has been the focal point of all of these signs that we have been watching leading up to where we are right now, okay? And so we have... All of the signs in the heavens pointing to Hanukkah. We have a 40-day warning to the beginning of Hanukkah. And now what has happened during this time of Hanukkah to show us that we are in what could very well be our final warnings to the rapture of the church. Now, together with this, as we were watching specifically uh, December 18th and Kislev 24, what it says in Haggai chapter 2, this is going to be the day of the great shaking. Okay, nothing uh, extreme happened on those days as far as a great shaking. But what we did have is amazing warnings coming out over December 17th and December 18th where Russia was revealing all of their new nuclear weapons. Okay, in one uh, video I shared with you, any target on Earth in less than 30 minutes, all of these new hypersonic uh, nuclear warhead missiles are, cap are capable of reaching any target on Earth in less than 30 minutes. On the same day then, on December 17th, they threatened Russia threatened to nuke Yellowstone Volcano and said that the, the goal of nuking Yellowstone Volcano would be in one, uh, in one strike to completely wipe out uh, America forever. Okay, this was their threat. This came out on the 40-day warning from the blood moon. Okay, this was the 40-day warning leading us to December 17th and 18th. And then on the same day of the World Cup, well, everybody's distracted. Russia is putting into place their third multi-nuclear warhead missile. They deployed their third multi-nuclear warhead miss missile and put it into place, locked and loaded and ready to go. So, okay, it, Russia is ready. Okay, they are prepared and at any time now, no one knows the day or the hour, but they are ready and they're, they're, they're preparing, okay? Now, this was the beginning of Hanukkah. Now we have in the middle of Hanukkah, this, these other warnings that are coming and these other signs that have appeared. December 21st, which was exactly midweek Hanukkah between, between the winter solstice, December 21st, December 22nd, midweek Hanukkah, we have Israel forming their new government, okay? The announcement was made on December 21st, okay? Now, leading up to December 28th and December 29th, they have now the, the convening of the Knesset and they're going to be ratifying or formally approving and confirming, okay? To ratify is to approve and to confirm. 
Okay, and um, and so they are going to be meeting on Thursday, but the paperwork has to be in by Wednesday the 28th. Okay, Wednesday the 28th. So what we are watching then is this lead up to the end of Hanukkah, and then right there, whether it's exactly at the end of Hanukkah or whether it's into the next day, the 28th, or into the 29th, the prophecy that goes together with the reforming of the government after many years of not having a government, after many years of having two Benjamins in power, when they tried to rebuild, but it fell down again, they tried to rebuild, but it fell down again. Okay, when they finally get the government formed and rebuilt, before that happens, the Messiah is going to come. Okay, I explained this fully in this last message I did here. Will the Messiah appear before Israel's new government takes power between December 28th and December 29th? Because they have to put in the paperwork on the 28th and then on the 29th, it's the presentation and the ratification and the confirmation of the new Knesset of the new formed uh, government in Israel. Okay, so all that is going to be happening December 28th and and 29th. Now, I want to share this piece of information with you about December 28th. On December 28th, the day as just as Hanukkah is ending, okay, and just as Israel is coming into their new government between December 27th, 28th, and 29th. We have this window of time here. This is the alignment of planets that we have. There are two triple conjunctions within an eight planet alignment. Okay. Now, Even beyond Jupiter, just a bit, you're going to have Uranus and Mars all the way over to uh, Taurus. Okay, so just a couple more constellations over, and you're going to have all 10 planets together. So what we have here is we have an alignment of planets from Sagittarius, where you have a triple conjunction of Mercury, Venus, and Pluto, together with the sun in Sagittarius. Then you have Saturn in Capricorn, and you have another triple conjunction of Jupiter, Neptune, and the moon in Pisces. And so this is an amazing sign in the heavens that is taking place. Now, this is exactly on uh, the end of Hanukkah, and then as Israel is going to be forming uh, their government. So this is just a quick overview. I wanted to put this information together for you guys to show you that the all of the the blood moons from 2014 and 2015 coming to the blood moons of 2021 and 2022 are all pointing to Hanukkah based on 2,598 days. Included in this, we have a 40-day warning that brought us right to the beginning of Hanukkah. Then right at the beginning of Hanukkah, we have our major warnings coming out of Russia. And then midweek Hanukkah, December 21st, the winter solstice, we have our seven-day warning to the new government being formed. And now the confirmation of the Knesset between December 28th and December 29th. So on December 28th, this amazing alignment of planets is going together with the end of Hanukkah and the formation of Israel's new government after many years of not having a formal government in place. We also have the conjunction of the moon, which could represent the bride of Christ, Jupiter the man-child in Pisces, the symbol of the Christian, the fish. So all of this uh, is what I wanted to share with you tonight. I'm just wanting to get this information out. I think this sign in the heavens for December 28th 
is a very important sign that goes together with everything else we're watching. And whether it's uh, today, December 27th, or December 28th, or right up to the meeting there on, on December 29th, okay, the prophecy says that before the government is formed, that the Messiah will appear. Okay, what does that mean, the Messiah will appear? Well, I think for us, those who are waiting for the return of Jesus Christ, the appearance of the Messiah means for the Christian, the rapture of the church, and for the world, it will be the false Messiah, the Antichrist, who will come to rule uh, the darkness during the time of the Great Tribulation. And so the, there's a dual prophecy always in all of this that the true Messiah, Jesus Christ, will come to rapture his church, while the false Messiah, the Antichrist, will come and be revealed and be manifested fully on earth as the wrath of God is going to be poured out. Okay, so these are the things that I wanted to share with you guys tonight. I pray you are blessed. Have a wonderful day. Keep watching. Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.